we have live team coverage beginning with Jessica DeNova, who is in Anaheim with details on the Disney closure. De Jessica. A lot of questions around this. Everyone wondering how will this impact the tur tourism industry here in Anaheim and its employees all throughout Orange County now. In a statement from Disneyland Resort, they make it clear that there are no reported cases of COVID-19 at the resort, but they've decided to close Disneyland Park and Disneyland California Adventure starting this Saturday morning through the end of the month. Downtown Disney will remain open. The hotels at the resort will remain open until Monday to give guests a chance to make necessary travel arrangements. The statement says Disneyland cast members will be paid during this time, and the resort will work with guests who wish to change or cancel their visits and provide refunds to those who have hotel bookings during this closure period. I've been speaking with resort visitors and business owners in the area all morning, breaking this news to some of them. One general manager of two Anaheim hotels here tells me he's already thinking he'll have to close one of his hotels. Owners of nearby restaurants say they rely heavily on the resort's business for their own sales, and families visiting the park are wondering about refunds. I don't know what we're going to do uh, since we're supposed to be, we've got a five-day pass, I think, so until Sunday. I believe Disneyland tourist is uh, important for everybody here, not only for my business, for the hotel, and for everybody, yes, is, is already affecting our business. All this, of course, coming after Governor Newsom's executive order yesterday. Now, in a statement, Governor Newsom says Disney made the right call in the interest of public health and agreed to shut down their California parks. Expect more announcements like this shortly. And with me here, I have Mike Lister. Thank you so much for joining me, Mike. You are the chief communications officer for the city of Anaheim. So, like I mentioned earlier, this is a huge hit to the Anaheim tourism industry. How are you going to deal with this? Indeed, we will deal with it. So first of all, indeed, it is a big impact to us. Tourism is the big part of our economy. But first and foremost, what we needed to do was respond to a statewide policy, a change in guidelines, and we all needed to step up. And I want to say that we are proud of Anaheim. We're proud of all our partners. Literally in a matter of hours, we all came up with our response plans. We came out with those response plans, and we did what was needed. So we can't lose sight of the fact that, first and foremost, this is a public health issue much bigger than Anaheim. And if this is what we need to do to play our part, then that's what we're going to do. Now, going forward, we as a significant sized city, we do have reserves and we have resources. We have a budget where we have ability within that budget to prepare and plan for unexpected contingencies like we are seeing now. A lot of, a lot of moving parts here. Thank of you course. so much for your time. I'm so sorry to cut you, you off. we got to get going, but we'll have more updates on this throughout our shows this afternoon. Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Click the ABC7 logo to subscribe to our Eyewitness News YouTube channel.